Hey Taurus, how's it going? I hope everything is going well. We're gonna go ahead and hop into your reading. Please be sure to give the reading a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment if the reading resonates, if I resonate with you as a reader. All right, so we're gonna see what's happening right now with you and your love interest, see what I pick up on. currently and then towards the latter part of the reading we'll see what is happening next okay what i pick up on happening next all right taurus can you show me how taurus's love interest is coming up in the connection with taurus right now okay the firefly Whoever this is, this person could be removing themselves from some sort of situation that is no longer serving them, all right? And I think that you are definitely a source of inspiration. <clears throat> You're a part of what inspires them to move in a different direction, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Um, this definitely could be, uh, what could be any sign? Air is coming up tough for you all. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? This could also be a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So yeah, it looks like this person is in the process of removing themselves from some sort of connection it does not have to be romantic this can be family friendship some sort of toxic job um, environment but they're they're definitely noticing that a situation is no longer they're no longer aligning okay with a past situation they're looking at you like you represent new beginnings, okay? And I, and maybe you're having, you know, maybe they're talking to you about this, Taurus, okay? <clears throat> but it's like with you, they have kind of this spark of hope. All right, with the firefly energy. Can you show me, excuse me, can you show me how uh, this person sees Taurus in the connection with them right now? Okay, the lamb, that's your energy. So, they feel like you're very, wise wisdom is coming to mind patient all right you're not rushing anything here they may also feel Taurus that they need to be careful how they move towards you because lamb energy can be very timid I'm also getting like there's something very innocent about you. And it is giving me like like um childlike energy. So you know with the with the childlike energy, it does it's like a new start, something new, okay? Very your energy could also be very refreshing to them because I feel like they're coming out of some sort of dark um just maybe some sort of darkness, you know, this could be with just them. You know, this person could be coming out of a depression, coming out of, I don't know, some, uh, you know, dark night of the soul, you know, they call it, um, some sort of awakening period, but coming out of it, then there's your energy, which feels very, um, calming. Okay.
Can you show me where Taurus and their love interests are at? Where are these two at in their connection right now? That's crazy. I started your reading already and this card came out. <laughs> That's so wild to me still. Dream big. Another sign got this too, but so you have 38, it's an 11, okay? Um, dream with your heart. So it's interesting that I'm talking about your person kind of um, coming out of some sort of dark period. They're understanding that, you know, something needs to be wrapped up in their life. But 11 is, uh, like 11, 11, it's the gates are open, okay? So there's a there's kind of like I'm hearing a window of opportunity here for possibly you and this person, okay, Taurus. With with who this is that I'm picking up for you, I feel like <clears throat> they are following their heart. When, you know, I'm seeing them gravitate towards you. So and it's interesting too, you have this green behind you, the heart chakra, okay? So, but that, that is, there's so much coming to me, but that's what they're listening to. Yeah. Listen to your heart. That's That was a song that started playing in my mind. That's why I was like, okay, I need to focus, but listen to your heart. Um, it's an old song. Clarify how this person is feeling about the connection. Love call. Okay. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So you're, uh, whoever this is, they come up as air. It's funny in this deck, I hate when it, when it does that. In this deck, uh, air represents the heart. So I just thought about that. So you know, their heart is leading them, I feel, to communicate. Air is also communication. So if you're not speaking with this person, they're feeling very guided to talk to you. Um, maybe they have expressed themselves already, Taurus, okay? Um, but they want to express themselves to you. Like it says, thinking about you, letting you know, okay? Sending you a message of love, okay? A magician card wanted to come out. Um, definitely be dealing with the Gemini. Clarify how Taurus's uh, love interest is showing up. In the connection with them, with the firefly, clarify how this person is showing up. In the connection with them, Queen of Wands. Yeah, this. <laughs> like, it's funny, fire, right? Firefly, fiery. We've got some Aries energy here. So, yeah, this person. They do sense like they need to take action towards you. <clears throat> It's funny, before the Queen of Wands came up, I wanted to say they're not really overthinking things right now. When it comes to you, they're just going off how they feel. And how they feel is like, you know, I, I'm, I, I want Taurus. I want to um, pursue Taurus. I want to talk to Taurus. I want to express myself to Taurus, okay? All right. Wherever this is, it's probably, you know, also very attractive. Uh, you also, because I also saw you have the Nine of Pentacles and you have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this person's probably very attractive. Um, also competitive. They can't, Queen of Wands energy can't be very competitive. They want what they want, right? It's Aries. <clears throat> 
headstrong, okay? They're seeing you, they're looking at you. You know what I just heard too with you though? I feel like you, you may be being very quiet with who this is because I just heard silence of the lambs. <laughs> um, yeah. And they may, I don't know, they may come off. I, I don't know if they, if, if they are um, acting on this yet, but if and when they do, it seems very like forceful. Not in a weird way, but like very forward, okay? Very attracted to you. Three of cup. look, as I said, very attracted to you. So again, if you're not speaking with this person, there is definite reconciliation vibes, like all right here, okay? Um, clarify, they come off very masculine too, and you come up um, very much, you know, Taurus is a feminine sign, so it's funny that the Three of Cups kind of wanted to come out for your, your energy here, or how they see you. Um, there, I, I get like that your person is sensing like, I need to take this moment of opportunity. Here's my opportunity to speak to Taurus. They may be sensing like, you know, Taurus is in a good place with the Three of Cups. Clarify how this person sees Taurus in the connection with them. Wow, look, the Three of Cups. <laughs> um, the Three of Cups with your energy, with the Hierophant, okay? So, yeah, this person definitely sees you as somebody that they want to make things right with. Okay, um, <sighs> hmm. definitely this person wants to, um, if you've made any requests, I feel like they want to meet those requests because I feel like that's all that's you like holding up your hand like, mm, you know what I asked for. It's like they want to they want to give you what you asked for, Taurus. OK. If you all are having conversations, right? Because you do have love call. I feel like this person is enjoying the conversations with you so much. Okay. But they're feeling like they need to come to you. Again, very feminine energy. Cancer, Hierophant, you have more Taurus energy. Okay, they need to move towards you. They know that. Clarify where Taurus and their love interest, where are they at right now? Clarify, dream big for me, please, universe source. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, a turn of events. Uh, Jupiter, so expansion, luck, abundance. So, yeah, this looks like, you know, definitely you do have reconciliation energy, Taurus. So, however this uh, connection was going or whatever was happening here, it looks like things are turning around. It looks like there's a positive turnaround here in this connection, for sure. There's been a completion of the cycle. And... um we're moving into a new cycle. Especially if this is a Sag. A lot, big time I get Sag, you know, Sag coming back around. Okay. Clarify how this person is feeling. I like dream big too, my bad. I, I, don't, I don't mean to stop, but I like the fact that it's with dream big and we have Jupiter, which is, I believe, yeah, the largest planet in our solar system, okay? 
So there's lots of opportunity. That's what I'm getting, getting, getting with this Wheel of Fortune energy. Like there's so much opportunity here in this connection. Yeah, I'm like, I just heard carpe diem. Let's see, let's seize the moment. Right. I feel like good karma is coming back around. Good good energy is coming back to you, Taurus, here in your in your love life. Alright. Clarify on how this person is feeling about the connection with Taurus right now. How are they feeling here? Okay, the chariot with the four of pentacles. All right, so I think the Four of Pentacles, I feel like that's you. All right, their intuition, again, they come up with this firefly energy. I feel like their intuition is telling them, I need to just, you know, go for it. If you all are at a distance, this person is sensing like, I need to go travel. Um, I need to travel to go see Taurus. <clears throat> because again, you know, this person can sense that you are holding back, um, that you're still very reserved. Okay, remember I got like maybe a little timid, okay? with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm I feel like you're the one receiving the call. Yeah, I'm looking at the hand holding the receiver and you're holding the Four of Pentacles, okay? And this is, you know, also you have cancer energy. I feel like this person is trying to meet you in the middle. See how the two horses are, are, are you know, their heads are meeting there in the middle. I feel like this person is really, um, they feel like it, once they make this effort or if they've made this effort already, because they do come up as, you know, being very forward here with the Queen of Wands, with the Firefly. I see communication. I see them taking action towards you. So for them, I feel like they're saying, okay, I'm, I'm following guidance. I'm moving in a new direction. I'm moving towards Taurus. Um, I'm, I'm meeting, they feel like they're doing a lot. They're, they're meeting you in the middle here. Okay. And they may sense, Taurus, that, you know, right now you're just in this place of where, like I said, you're holding back. You're you're not, you know, necessarily offering a whole lot here, but, excuse me, I know that's gross. You're showing a lot of self-control. But for them, they're like, I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna go for it with Taurus. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Taurus, sorry about that. Jax came in right at the end. All right, so let's, uh, that's what I'm seeing right now with what's going on. I mean, things look like they're moving in a positive direction. That's what else I'm getting with your person. I do feel like they are sensing like things are progressing, that there's been a lot of progress, that things are moving in a positive direction, okay? Again, there may have already been plans, like travel plans made between you two. And they're just really excited to um, see you, to get to you. Maybe these plans occur in cancer season, okay? Since 
you did have the three of cups, right? We have cancer energy and then the chariot for how this person felt. Again, cancer energy, okay? All right, so let's see what I pick up on happening next. If I didn't say this again, because I try to say it at the beginning and the end. All right, so please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. All righty, so let's see. Taurus, what happens here next with Taurus and their love interests pressed on their mind? What happens here next? All right. You are unlimited. What you can create is unlimited. This is always such a cool card to me. <laughs> it looks like the red pill, like um, the Matrix. Like you take the blue pill, you stay asleep, you go back and, you know, you go back into this world where you think everything is one way, but it's not. But then this is like the red pill where it's like you take the red pill and we're about to show you what's really going on. Okay. So 12, again, more progress. Where were we at before? 38, which is an 11. So now you have 12. All right. Clarify where Taurus and their love interests are at next in the connection. All right. <clears throat> so you have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. This was like Aquarius's reading where <laughs> I was like, okay, like. <laughs> Somebody in the comments was like, how are you going to leave me hanging like that? Um, I'll tell you this, Aquarius Extended was not bad at all. All right. So, you know, I can definitely tell you that if you're not going to go watch the Extended. If you are. Okay. So if you feel like this reading resonates, makes a lot of sense. Uh, and you feel like you can gain more clarity from continuing to see what I pick up on, more about what I pick up on happening next. We're going to pull more cards how I see this person wanting to show up for you, Taurus, how they want you to show up for them, all right, what they're wanting here overall with you. Um, I'm gonna pull the outcome I get with you too, and of course your advice. What is your advice with this individual as well as in your love life um, You know, to get the results that you're wanting here in your romantic experience, okay? So if you feel like you can benefit from what it is that I pick up on, that that will help you in your situation, by all means, come join me on Vimeo. The extended link is in the description, top of the comments. We'll continue your reading there, Taurus. If this is where we part ways, I love you all. Okay. Um, be safe. Take it easy. And I'll see you all next time. All right. Peace.